Hey, welcome back to the Unleashed Advisors channel. I'm Annie Nash with the Unleashed Advisors team at eXp Realty. And today I'm here with Craig Nash and Elizabeth McCarthy. We are talking about our agent of the month, who is Elizabeth McCarthy. We are happy to have you here today. Welcome. Thank you. So let's start out a little bit. Just introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about where where did you move here to Greenville from? Um, so I moved from Massachusetts. We moved in 2022 down here. And um, I had been practicing real estate up there. And um, we were trying to buy a home um, for about two years. And we were looking for something different. So we decided to find where we should move to. So how did you choose Greenville, South Carolina from Massachusetts? Well, my family and I are big gardeners. We really wanted to farm. So that was one thing, but also cost of living as far as buying a home. And so it really kind of fit what we needed. Um, and we were able to buy a house down here. So what area, because you're in a really cool area. I like where you are. So tell us a little bit about where you are in the Greenville area and where you sell in this area. So I do work in all of the upstate, but I really love the um, Campobello Landrum area. Um, I personally love that countryside and the mountains. Um, that was a big deal, too, when we moved down here, seeing those beautiful mountains. Tell me a little bit about that area, the farming that you do or the gardening that you do, because um, there's some unique stuff up there in that area um, that's, in my opinion, is unique to the Campobello and Landrum area. Yes, definitely. And um, the local farms that surround that area are just amazing and they're so good at what they do. But that was very attractive to us, too. Um, we just right now have chickens, like you said, and we are starting to expand more and more like we've only been there for a year. But um, it really makes a difference as far as our yard is very flat and we're very capable of using our whole space to do that. But we also have a lot of support around us because a lot of people farm around the area. So we've gotten a lot of advice, um, which has been very helpful. So. That's awesome. So why did you get in real estate to begin with? So... Um, Basically because my family and I were trying to buy a house, and this was 2020. It was very competitive. Um, some of the agents that I was working with um, wouldn't go that extra mile to sort of help us, and I started actually reaching out and having conversations with other real estate agents, calling people about land or houses, um, and that kind of sparked something in me. I was like, if I can do this, I should be doing this. I really liked it. Um, and that's where I, the learning process really began for me because I started learning about that process and um, that it was something that I wanted to pursue. And at the time, I wanted to buy my family a house, but um, it became something more. Hmm. That's awesome. So you started out with Exit Realty? Yes, I did. Yeah. Why did you make the change to EXP? So I was really stuck. Um, I had no direction. Um, I felt like I wasn't going anywhere or expanding my business. I wasn't growing. Um, and someone had approached me about EXP. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, I never thought about really looking elsewhere. But once they started talking about EXP, I said, wow, that's a really good fit. I need to find out more about that brokerage. Mm -hmm. How'd you find out more? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, they have a wonderful website, number one. So I, I had a lot of materials to read just on that. But um, the person who is my sponsor now, really, she immediately went on a Zoom call with me and we talked, just a normal conversation. Um, I got to ask questions and that was really, it felt so good to me that somebody was just willing to talk about the company they worked for and what it offered. Um, and it, that really hit me and I said, okay, I, I'm going to join. How did you get 
to us, <laughs> the Unleashed Advisors team? Well, um, I was paired up uh, with you as my mentor to oh, begin right. with. So, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, and um, you were very helpful, but um, and you had not pressed the team on me or anything, but I wanted to know more about, oh, what's this team? How does that work? And um, it was really intriguing to me because I liked that you could do your own independent business, but you could also have your team business. Um, and so it was a really good choice, and I'm really happy with that. So I want to back up just a little bit to where you were saying um, some of the stuff that you were stuck in and why you chose EXP. Have those things that made you want to leave, have they been resolved by moving to EXP? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm amazed by the resources and tools. That was the first thing right away that I noticed. Um, I had never had any information about how to talk to a buyer, how to talk to a seller, <laughs> any of the processes um, until I joined EXP. Um, it was kind of crazy. So where do you see yourself going this year? I see myself being pretty successful. I finally feel like I'm in the place at the right place, I have that certain flow. I'm talking to more people every day, getting, um, working harder at my business. Um, and most of all, because I joined your team and have, I got that insight to do so. So now I know what to do. That is one of the things that I've seen, especially over the last, even just the last few months is the change in you from, cause now you've got a listing up in Campobello and you've been showing that like many, many times and just to see that change in the confidence that you now have working with people. So let's talk a little bit about working with buyers and sellers. Do you have a preference of who you're more comfortable with, whether you're representing a buyer or a seller? It's funny because at first I thought, oh, I only really like working with sellers, but I feel because of how it took so long for my family and I to buy a house, I think I can relate much to buyers. So I, I do enjoy working with both because I know how it feels to be frustrated in the process, to not be able to find a house, um, to deal with mortgage or, or whatever those issues that arise. So, um, so both now. So one of the things that we kind of strive to do is become part of our community that we're in. And I know that you're striving to do that and Tell us what you're kind of doing with the community as far as your dance teaching and your. So, yeah, I find before, even though I was involved in that community, I wouldn't reach out to people and strike up conversations. But now I am. I feel much more comfortable doing that. Um, people are always wondering about real estate, even though they have some kind of attitude about it. They really do want to know. And now I find once. I say, oh, I'm a real estate agent too, not just a dance teacher or whatever. Um, they'll ask me questions and I finally feel I can answer those questions. I'm more educated. Um, so that's built my confidence too. So the other thing uh, I want to ask you about, what what is the one thing that has kind of surprised you about in your real estate career so far? Um, I think the amount of work that it takes. <laughs> The amount of hours and and just staying consistent in your business every day, having a certain mindset is huge. Mm -hmm. um, and every day now I start off um, with that mindset and that changes everything. Um, and then staying consistent with my time blocking, time management. Um, it's really, really hard, when, especially when things come up in life, right? Sure. But, life, you know. life interferes with everything. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but just get staying on that track and and really being diligent about yeah. doing those things every day. Yeah, that is that's the one thing that most people don't realize about real estate is the hard work that it takes to actually be successful at this career. Mm -hmm. So the sooner that people learn that and get over that, then they can move their career down the line. So. And it was one of the things that we were talking about <clears throat> earlier about, because you, you're a dancer, you, you teach dance, um, but you, other agents make this look easier. People a lot of times think real estate is easy, and it, um, it's a lot like dance. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of hard work, a lot of behind the scenes to make it look easy 
for the people looking in. They don't see all the hard work that goes right right. (laughs) behind the scenes. Definitely. Um, I think definitely people have that opinion and it's, it's really, um, I mean, I think that's maybe with any business too, Mm -hmm. you know, to be successful, you really have to put the extra time and energy effort into it. It doesn't just come naturally. People won't just flock to you and (laughs) say, I want to buy a house. Right. (laughs) Really doesn't happen that way. You really have to work hard at it. So since we're talking about dance, tell us a little bit about what you teach and where you teach. Okay. Um, I teach mostly contemporary dance right now, which is a more modern form of dance. Um, I teach at Emanuel Arts in Inman. And right now I'm just doing one class. Um, I've taught over 20 years. So (laughs) um, it's kind of becoming something where I love doing it, but I'm also more focused on real estate right Mm now. So I'm glad I can still do it, but I don't know how much further I'll continue. Okay. But I love working with kids. So what age group do you usually work with? So my class right now is um, age 8 to 12. Um, most of them are about 10. So Yeah, that's cute. I do love teaching younger kids as well. Um, I, you know, in my previous studio up north, I was teaching preschool aged. I'm heavily involved. I'm also a preschool teacher. So <laughs> the more we learn. <laughs> yes, you do a I probably bit of... didn't mention that, but no. yeah, I also worked in a Montessori school for many years. So, um, and had my, actually I had my own Montessori, um, business. As really? Well. I did yeah. not know that. Yep. For the last few years. That's why I like doing these podcasts. We learn more about people. <laughs> and, I know. I love yeah. it. I think that's too why, um, I like real estate because I like that education part of it. Mm -hmm. And really, I feel sometimes we're really being almost a teacher to people to try to, you know, educate them how it works and what it is. Very much so. 95% of the people do not know how real estate works or how to even start the process of buying a house or even selling a house. So it is very much time where we spend educating the buyer or the seller Mm -hmm. to get them from point A to the closing table. Yeah, absolutely. So what aspects do you like about our team? So most of all, I like the support and the collaboration. Um, I like the accountability um, that we give each other every day. Um, No matter, it's no competition. I think that's huge because I feel... I've seen some other teams on how they operate. I feel it's very competitive. And in this, it's not. We're really out to support each other. Um, no matter who has a listing or whatever, we're going to help that person as well, support them. Um, and then I do like the fun that we have, too. <laughs> yeah, we have, <laughs> we have a little bit of fun, too. I like that. So that's very nice for me. I like that social part, you know, and then there's the business side yeah. of it, too. So... You know, uh, I'm glad you brought that fun thing up just because back in my previous career, I had a boss that really drove that into me. Um, He really, really said, you know, we're going to work hard while we're here at work, but then we're going to have fun because the results will pay off and we're going to celebrate those. So I think it's very important in our team environment that we actually do celebrate our wins because we do have some incredible wins so it's just a wonderful thing that you know and that was that was you know 20 years ago that that was driven into me so and i've pretty much abided by that ever since then so yeah and granted we work hard we're gonna work hard Mm -hmm. but -hmm. we're gonna have fun too yeah yeah it's a good combination and i think it only helps everybody you know we're all so different and um you know, I'm kind of a newer member of the team, so I always felt very much at home with you guys, and that, yeah. that's very nice for me, too. We do have an event coming up that we're going to all go to down in Miami, and the EXP Yeah, con. that's right. That's going to be fun, isn't it? It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Yeah, we're going to go down and learn a whole bunch of stuff and collaborate and come back better and stronger. I'm looking forward to it as well. Yeah, yeah and it's another thing that EXP offers, just having those resources and um, its own mentorship program in itself just 
It's really amazing. I'm looking forward to that. One of the things that um, I really enjoy with you is you have taken the ball of the guidance that, hey, we need to have social media out there. We need to be doing videos. We need, And I've watched you grow from <coughs> your first videos to some of the ones you've put out more recently. Um, tell us a little bit about one, your channel and what kind of content you provide. And then how has that journey gone for you? Okay. And you know, it's funny because now you're making me think of a time where I was um, a few years ago, I was on social media, I was posting things. Um, and something happened, I had gotten hacked, and I actually went completely off social media. And I was determined that I would never get back on. And when I joined EXP, you know, people were like, why are you not on social media? And I realized what a powerful tool it is. Um, even though that had happened to me before, there's certain ways that you just need to be careful about what you're doing and things like that. But um, that's when I only had gotten back on social media. So I started off with nothing, no friends, no followers. Um, I was a little nervous. I wasn't sure how I was going to go about doing that. Um, but grateful. I had a lot of training in the social media process um, with the Wolf Pack, and that really led me to start really being consistent about just putting content up, and that kind of started me. I wasn't sure about YouTube, um, but I said, I'm going to just do it. I'm going to make one video a week, and so I started that in October. My channel's called Love Life in the Upstate South Carolina, so I'm doing pretty good now. I'm actually seeing the results of building. Um, I've had some comments, more subscribers. I'm still growing, but I'm still diligent about putting those videos up and seeing where they go. I love that. So one more time, what's your channel? <laughs> love Life in the Upstate South Carolina. Okay. And hopefully we'll get that posted in there so that people can see it. That would be great. Yep. Thank yeah. you. What kind of content do you, or what do you talk about? What kind of content do you put out on your channel? So I started putting just um, information about the upstate, so diving to each um, town, um, Inman, Boiling Springs, um, places that we don't always hear about. Um, I had done one on Greenville. I'm going to do one on Spartanburg soon. But those are more highlighted, I feel, usually Greenville and Spartanburg. So um, I've actually had a lot more views with the Boiling Springs and the Inman videos. And I think people really want to do find more information about them. Mm -hmm. So I have that. And then I have some um, mortgage information, negotiation, things like that for buyer process. And yep, you, Yeah, you've got a lot of really good content. So if anybody's curious, they can go to your channel and check it out. Yeah. Subscribe and like. Yes, please. <laughs> We're always about the subscribes and likes. And yeah. comments. I know there as well. Yes. Share it, so, all the stuff. So you talked a little bit about mindset a little bit ago. Um, and I'm a big mindset person. I mean, my morning routine's pretty set, and I go through it every day. So tell me a little bit about how you get your mindset right to be in real estate. So this is really interesting because um, I always kind of had some sort of practice, but it wasn't very involved. And then I was in a car accident and a lot changed even for me at that point um, because I had to work through some things um, anyway in my own life and how I was trying to heal and rest. So that's when I really started being so diligent about the first thing before you even get up out of your bed is to be grateful, be thankful. Um, and that really has changed just doing that in whatever, five minutes time. Um, even if it's thank you for my sleep, right? Or um, I'm still breathing, <laughs> you know, it can be very general. I mean, it's so yeah. true, right? We forget about mm -hmm. that, right? We forget, oh, wow, yeah, I'm still breathing. I'm fine. You know, even if we're so tired, we don't want to get up, right? Because... <laughs> I'm like not anymore a morning person, so it's very hard for me to get up, but starting my day that way has changed, and I'm able to get up easier. 
Um, and then I do meditate in the morning. Mm -hmm. I find that I, if I don't start my day that way, 15 minutes meditation, um, the whole day is different. Yeah. So yeah. I can attest to that as well. And, and well, and I've seen that change in you since your, your wreck the just the, the positive outlook and the, I don't know, you're, you're more vibrant and ready to go. And uh, so thank you. We actually drove by there today. Oh yeah. yeah. They <laughs> yeah. still haven't fixed the sign. So they I'm haven't gonna... fixed the stop sign. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. I, we're driving and I'm like, I don't know where we are. Google's telling me where to go. And Craig's like, Oh, Hey, that's where Elizabeth wrecked. And I was like, Oh, okay. Yeah, they have was... put a new fire hydrant. They in put there. in the new fire hydrant, but yeah, I plowed over the stop sign and that's well, I, th well, I was going to say, wait, 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 let's back up a little bit. You didn't intentionally plow oh, no. over it. Somebody came and hit you and caused you to do it. This was not your fault. No, no, it was a crazy scenario because my car was pushed up, you know, that hill and, and ran over that stop sign. But, you know, this is a four way stop. So yeah. to, that the fact that they put that stop sign back up, I was thinking this is actually more dangerous because <laughs> these cars are going the other direction. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. No, I like the part about gratitude because I'm, I'm gratitude's an attitude to me. So I yeah, mean, if we operate in the attitude of being thankful for things, and things will go a lot better for you than they would have if you don't. So yeah, definitely, and and it changes your reaction to problems or situations that come up in your daily life you know um there's always going to be contrast in your life there's always going to be things you're gonna have to deal with it's just how you deal with them right um and that makes a difference and i find i'm less not that i'm an angry person but <laughs> if something happens i kind of can roll with it a little bit easier yeah. and take a step back and um so yeah i think that's a change just mm -hmm. yeah Makes making the phone calls a little bit easier too, just because you're like, hey, I have an opportunity to make a phone call now versus, oh, yes. I got to make a phone call. Right. And actually, that's a good point because I remember when I first started on the team, I was like, why well, you want me to make phone calls? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't, um, I like talking to people, but not people I don't really know. It's hard to get on the phone with somebody. Sometimes people just hang up on you, you yeah. know, whatever, but um now i feel like hey you know what i really need to touch base with these people i'm gonna yeah. make that phone call and i i don't freak out about it so. yeah that's an awesome awesome thing right there i know you've uh your activities really picked up lately you know as far as in you know and i think it's just because you have really put yourself out there and become more vulnerable as a person and i i think it's really starting to pay off for you and starting you know you all of a sudden have like 15 people you're working with. Yeah. Yeah. So it is. Um, I feel good about it too, you know? So, um, I think my confidence wasn't very good before either. It's, it's still, I do still deal with that, but, um, I do feel more confident and that makes a difference in how I'm doing my business as well. Yeah. I think it makes a huge difference in just how you carry yourself even. Um, cause I, and I've seen that change. The confidence mm -hmm. level has gone way up and it's like, yes, this is so <laughs> exciting to see her starting to really take off and be who we know she can be. Yeah. As a, as a team lead, it's one of the things that excites me most about agents starting at point A and being, you know, kind of struggling. And then mm -hmm. all of a sudden they start to improve and then it clicks and then they get better, and then they get more confidence, and they get to be an awesome agent. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's, it's definitely a process. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is, and um, I finally feel um, like I'm at the place I need to be. Right, I can I can do that um, through different training and everything that you've offered. You know, I'm more prepared to dive in and be successful. There's always another level. We'll get <laughs> There's you there always too. another level. <laughs> it never stops. That you know, it really doesn't. Um, it takes a lot. Like we said before, it takes that hard work and and time. Um, it's not always easy. Mm -mm. But that's what the celebrations are for, because we've got to celebrate those, even if they're little wins, so that we can keep going back and doing the hard work and keep our, our mindset in the right space, so that we can pick up the phone and make the phone calls, even when somebody's 
like, no, I don't want to talk to you and hangs up on yeah. it or whatever that might be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I, now I can laugh at that when somebody does that. <laughs> yes. Like, okay, you're, you, you don't want to talk to me. All right, fine. <laughs> it's no longer crying. It's the laughter. Because yeah. <laughs> Before I was like, so, um, uh, feeling almost degraded or something like, oh my God, somebody hung up on me. But mm. was, now I'm like, got to get to the no's before you get to the yeses. So, <laughs> right, right. You know. And what's one thing that's really interesting for me, you know, even, you know, I talked about levels, you know, even I am not God of real estate by any means, <laughs> you know, I am still improving. I'm still going through levels. I mean, we just started a program this week with me and it's challenged me beyond where I even thought. So yeah. there's always another level. Yeah. So it's kind of kind of interesting to go through those processes. Yeah, and so. it's it's really good to challenge yourself. And that's how you're gonna be successful. You know, ultimately you can't just stay in one spot, you know, you're not gonna get very far very fast. So all right, so I have one more question for you. Mm-hmm. What is one piece of advice you would give somebody who has indicated that they're interested in getting into real estate, so they don't have their license yet, um, to help them be successful? So I think first is to find your support network, somebody that can help you, and then you know get into learning as much information you can first. Take masterminds, use your resources, and then whatever you do, stay consistent with what you're doing. Um, whether it's social media or just talking to people, making phone calls, keep it consistent. I think that's good advice because the consistency is what's going to create consistent results as well. Exactly. Well, Elizabeth, it's been a pleasure having you here on this podcast today. So Thank I you. look forward to seeing you grow even further in your career. And uh, I enjoy having you on our team. Thank you so much. Look out, world. We are unleashed. <laughs>